I've had loads of clients come to me and say, hey, when we finish our sales process, then we move the deal into this other pipeline so that our account management team can handle it or so that we do the delivery and installation through that other pipeline. Great, that's all fine. What isn't fine is moving the deal from one pipeline to another. When you move a deal from one pipeline into another pipeline, you erase all of the conversion data that existed in that first pipeline as soon as the deal is moved into that second pipeline. So it's a huge no-no to move deals across pipelines if it can be avoided at all. One of the ways to avoid it is to duplicate the deal instead of moving it. And you can do this via automation. So I've set up an automation where when a deal is one in my sales pipeline, an additional deal is duplicated and created in my delivery pipeline. And then those deals are interlinked. So if the sales team needs to reference anything about delivery, they can and vice versa for the delivery team. So here in my sales pipeline, what I'm gonna do is trigger that automation, which I've set up to trigger when the deal is one. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this deal as one. And as soon as this automation is through, we will see that this deal has been updated with some additional information. So you see now there's this link for the delivery deal. So before I go and click on that link, I just wanna show you if I go to my delivery pipeline, there is that new deal, okay? So back in my sales pipeline, here I have this link to the delivery deal. So if I go ahead and click this link, I'm taken directly to this deal and you can see it's in my delivery pipeline in the order equipment stage and it has a link to the sales deal. So if I click this link, I'm taken right back to that sales deal, this deal here, same as this deal here, um, and can go back and forth. So again, if one team needs to reference information that the other team left on the other deal, they can do so. Another thing you may have noticed is this deal is open, whereas this deal, of course, is still one because we want to capture the one time. And maybe for the delivery team, we can use the one time as when that uh, installation has been fully complete. So we actually get a lot more data out of using a process like this. So let me show you how this automation is built. So I built this in Pipedrive's workflow automation and the trigger is that the deal was updated. And then the filter on that is that the status has changed to one and I did this specifically just on one of my pipelines. So the deal status has changed to one and the pipeline is the sales pipeline. Then my step is just to duplicate the deal. So I'm duplicating that deal from step one that triggered the automation. Then in step four, I'm updating that deal that was duplicated. So the deal from step three that was created, that's this here, I'm going to update the title. So if I don't do this, it's just gonna show as copy, which I think is a little bit annoying. So I wanna update the deal title a bit so that it's clear this is the delivery deal and that was a sales deal. Then I'm updating the stage and pipeline because of that. I'm updating the deal status so it goes from one to open. And then I also create that link for the sales deal. And this, how I do this is this base link is always the same. And then I just add the deal ID from step one. That's my sales deal, right? The sales deal from step one is the one that triggered this automation. Then in step five, this is where I update that deal number one and I create a link to the delivery deal. So I add the base link here again, and then I add the deal ID from step three. Again, that's where we created that duplicate. So there's a lot more that can be done here. You can create activities from here. You can also like update the sales deal title if you want, so on and so forth. Tons of options, but the key is do not move deals across pipelines. If you can, instead of doing that, trigger an automation that will create a duplicate in whatever pipeline you need, create a link to the original deal for reference for that team, which you can do again in a custom field as I did, or you can also do it in a pin note, something like that if you prefer. But the key is do not move deals across pipelines. If you find yourself wanting to do that, figure out a way to create a duplicate and interlink those deals um, as appropriate so that you maintain all of your conversion metrics for all of your pipelines.